The Idaho State football team will kick off their season this Saturday against Simon Frazier. Now, the last time these two teams met was back in 2014 when Idaho State was a much different program. Led by quarterback Justin Arias, ISU routed Simon Frazier 66 to 14. Bengals head coach Mike Kramer said that his team watched a lot of film from that game and it'll be hard to match ISU's play from it. I think it was a harbinger for how good our season was going to be that year. Um, I don't know if we can replicate that because we played very exceptional. I wish we would have played that well against Eastern or <laughs> against Montana or Montana State in those two games that year. But uh, I, I just think that they're, they're much improved and we're wary of them. Uh, they're athletic. They have got a lot of confidence. Uh, their head coach is in his second year as a head coach. I'm sure he learned a lot from last year's narrow losses that they had. Simon Fraser is a school based in Canada, and let's just say football is not their go to sport up north, so there are some disadvantages there. They went winless last season, but Coach Kramer still believes they're a threat. When they look, them up, look at them on the field, they're pretty. I mean, they've got big linebackers, they've got a really big running back, they've got a good looking offensive line, the quarterback's a 6'4 kid. Sometimes they lag a little bit behind in just their ability to be able to instantly. Uh, deploy themselves against what they're presented with, whether it be on offense or defense. So there's a little bit of familiarity that lags them behind, but they're pretty, they're big, and they can play. And a lot of these guys will play on ESPN2 for years to come in the CFL. One thing that you guys won't see on Saturday are punt returns. They, ISU has one of their best weapons back there in Hagen Greaves catching the punts, so uh, Coach Kramer doesn't even want to risk getting him hurt. He said that it's important for fans to know what's going on, so basically they don't boo Hagen. But, Todd, we have something pretty cool going on. Utah State and Weber 